movie will start with a different Doctor Strange and Wong in an alternate universe that's seemingly very identical to the MCU, we are meant to think these are our Strange and Wong. These alternate Strange and Wong are then unexpectedly killed by an unseen force rather violently. These are supposedly the most violent deaths in MCU history, pushing the PG-13 rating. We get to see the perspective of the unseen force as it stalks these alternate Strange and Wong variants which I think is a homage to Sam Raimi's Evil Dead. The main MCU Doctor Strange will discover that the MCU is starting to melt. Strange admits to Wong that Thanos was actually meant to win Endgame and that he forced fate to change by manipulating the events that would lead to Tony's sacrifice. The various times Strange messed with reality is what's causing reality to break down, including the events of No Way Home. Strange finds Wanda and asks for her help. Strange knows everything about Westview and has been observing her. The orchard Wanda lives in isn't actually real, it's an illusion. She's actually living in a creepy forest. Wanda reveals that she has been studying the multiverse, saying there is something in the center of the multiverse that might help Strange fix the MCU and give Wanda what she wants, something that even Strange hasn't heard of before. Strange knows that Wanda has been hearing her children calling out to her, they use each other. Wanda uses Strange to find her children, Strange uses Wanda to navigate the multiverse. They meet an alternate Mordo who starts attacking Strange, mistaking him for another one. Mordo tells Strange that the biggest threat in the universe is a version of himself who seeks out other Stranges to kill them and absorb their power, wanting to be the only Strange that exists. This evil version of Strange is similar from the one in What If, but is a separate character nonetheless. This version of Strange is from a world that has a history that's identical to the MCU, except in this one, his Christine Palmer married another man. After the wedding, she gets hit by a car and dies. They meet another Strange, this one has a different costume with a ponytail. This Strange comes from a world where the other half of the Avengers got dusted during the snap. They never got the people who were dusted back, so this Strange built a new team called the Defenders. Inspired by the original Avengers, we meet plenty of Doctor Strange and Wanda variants. We also get to see the aftermath of the timelines where Thanos has won. This is said to be a rather terrifying scene. Evil Strange isn't the main villain after we were led to believe that he is, Wanda betrays Strange once they got to the center of the multiverse, it was actually a some sort of magical totem. On a pedestal, Wanda uses it and gets corrupted by the chaos magic, it allows her to finally pinpoint her children in the multiverse at the cost of endangering everything. They also fight various monsters across different universes. Wanda finally finds her children, but they belong to a slightly younger Wanda. This Wanda is the sister of the Quicksilver from Fox's X-Men universe. Wanda kidnaps the children and rampages through the Fox universe, which is now also breaking down. The Fox X-Men shows up, the three Stranges team up against Wanda. There is no way to fix the MCU and Evil Strange's universe. Evil Strange goes insane and fights Strange and Defender Strange. He ends up killing himself out of guilt. Movie ends with Wanda sacrificing herself, merging the MCU and the Fox X-Men universe. The MCU is now reckoned so that the mutants were always there from the start.